EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State in the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be created there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Second down, another shot for Jones. Fights off the defender. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the counter, here's Jones. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Here's second and ten. Switching things up. They'll throw it now with Jordan Love. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They run with Jones on first down, but he'll struggle here just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Looking deep here for Dobbs. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. They'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Throwing, Prescott, looking downfield for Pollard. And guys, man, complete! And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 39 yards there, a big one. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game.
They run it for the first time with Tony Pollard. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. Just a gain of a couple there. Third and seven now. They gave up the completion there, but this is what Zern defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Prescott to throw it. And the Packers give him nowhere to go and they bring him down. Rashawn Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. And the Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change? When all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and have to run out on the field and try to put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there, not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. 45 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll find his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, it's Jones. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 44. Calling an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. Oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. That's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Prescott on first down. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Well, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Brought down that time by Quay Walker. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. 
That's got this one complete to Pollard. They juked him. And getting this just shy of midfield will spot it at the 49. The catch and run there, good for 16 to first. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Prescott looks to throw on first. And this one quickly to lay him. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. On second down, it's Pollard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. On third down, it's Prescott. is going to be incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Here's Jones again on second down. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 67 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. The defense was dialed into the pass. They overlooked the draw play. And how often do we talk about the oldies are still goodies? Because that draw play comes straight from Coach Paul Brown's playbook, going all the way back to the original Cleveland Browns. First down, going to the air with Love. That's taken in by Watson. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 44-yard line.
Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, love to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 37. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They go back to the ground with Jones. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. This defense not budging back-to-back -back carries in just two yards. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will tie us at 3-3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Here's second and three. To throw his press gun. Over the middle, hold in by Lamb. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down up near the 40 yard line. It's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. They'll get this up to about the 44. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. 
or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Now a second and six. Going to run again here with Pollard. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he will have a Cowboys first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. He's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 56 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Devondre Campbell, nice play to get in there and drop him. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be third and ten. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he's still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Play fake. Here's Prescott. His throw caught at about the five. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll run with Pollard. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Play action now, Prescott. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Packers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. 
From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Love looking to throw it. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Play action this time with Love. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. And here's Daniel wheeling on now to punt. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Prescott off play action. Open man downfield is Lamb. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! CD Lamb, 62 yards. And the Cowboys will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they tip the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Aubrey Good with a PAT. And the lead is now 10 to 3. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Packers with a football here late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Short throw. He's got Kraft. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And Watson has it, right side. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play.
Love now to pass on first down. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first and 10, Love. The left side completion to Jones. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Second and five. Again, it's Love. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Prescott now on second down. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Prescott now from the 50. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. They'll throw again. Prescott. And it's dumped off to Poe. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff, and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, play. And look at this. It's a fake. And this is going to blow up in their faces. Not only do they not get the first, they're going to lose big yardage as well. How about that for a call? Leading in the second half, fake punt, but this one's going to work against them. And, partner, I love a fake punt as much as anyone. In fact, I might love it more than other people, but in this case, probably a step too far because not only does it not work, but look at the field position they gave up after the attempt. First down, love to pass. 
throw is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Love. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First target, first catch, and a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. Play fake. Here's Love. He'll find his tight end here, DeGora. And out of bounds, all the way down at the three. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off. But a nice game there for the first down. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They're down here in the third quarter trying to get something going. Going to the outside there didn't work out, though. Yeah, and from the cheap seats and from where you and I are sitting, <laughs> we, did, we did pay a pretty good price to get in here, right? You often wonder to yourself, why do you make that type of a call? That one went for no gain. But I think this offense thinks to itself, if we keep running these plays, eventually something may pop. It just didn't on that one. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And now we've got a third and goal situation. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the... He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And, partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Dallas offense set for this next drive. We've got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at about the 32. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. 57 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. If you're in the offensive player, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Second down and four. Here's Prescott. Throw right side, take it in by Gallup. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now that sets up third and two. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On play action, Prescott. And this pass broken up. Well, the 
contact well timed there and now fourth down this has certainly been a physical game so far limited scoring opportunities for both sides and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. First down, going to the air with Love. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it, and while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down and inches. Okay, second and one, you get nothing. What now on third and one? Sorry about that. I was so excited I jumped in on you. This is almost like practice to me. Line it up and do it again. You didn't get it right the first time. Just get right back on the ball and go. It doesn't matter that they know you're coming. You ought to be able to pick up this short yardage. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Love now. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The end result, 21 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 36 yards on the play. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. Now he steps away, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. Now Carlson for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10.
Carlson back out there now to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. To throw is Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 36 yards on the play. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. So from the 37, here's a second and eight. Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. A first down throw for Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 17-yard line. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you're Now Prescott. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. And this offense on third down today, they've converted just two for six thus far. This time it's third and three. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to pee. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Dallas. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Aubrey now for the point after. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. 
Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They go bootleg. Love. He hits Dobbs on the crosser. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards that time. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. On the delay, Jones. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Again, it's Jones. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. And inside give to Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On third down, Love. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Stephon Gilmore. So Prescott and Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Running right, it's Pollard. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Prescott to throw it. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Lamb. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Calling a gain of six on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. Here's Prescott. And it's taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's not the first time they've worked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 41 yard line. They work now on second and nine. Throwing Prescott. The short one there taken in by Ferguson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring us to a third and four. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. If they get nothing else here on third down, it'd be a 53-yard attempt from this spot. Prescott now. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. That is certainly one way to 
Prescott at the quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package. Lots of speed. No space to fit in the football. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And his kick is indeed good. And with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they really need to forget about their last time out, the turnover that led to a field goal. So now they try to regroup, trailing in the final quarter. Obviously, they'd love a touchdown, but three would suffice. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And a short pickup to about the 25. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. To throw now, here's Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. On play action. Love to throw. Completed out left to Dobbs. And he is going to have the Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Completes it again to Dobbs. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They come up now on second and two. Going back to Love. That's taken in by Watson. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Love now to pass on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. Uh, he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in what you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Love. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Oh, they took a big shot there for the end zone. And if he finds a way to come up with it, 
That might be your game winner, but it was not to be. The coverage was good, and it winds up incomplete. They'll try again here, second and 10. Now Love. That's going to be caught downfield by Reed. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit, because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Here we go, first and goal. Here's Love. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Second and goal from the one. Love looking to throw it. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that will make this a four-point game. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard but it's tough to simulate game speed and practice that often runs you into a penalty. Here's first and 10. Now Dak, that's complete to Lamb. And he'll manage maybe 10 yards, but they'll surrender that defensively, no problem. Now the Cowboys are gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Now second down and a few inches. Here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and 10. To throw Prescott. Into the hands of Cooks. And he will get to the sideline here, but that a minimal gain at best. Three yards, possibly four. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw there, caught by Gallup. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. 
They'll come up first and 10 here. Now Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Prescott. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance is just a little bit too great for it to happen here.